Hey everybody, I'm Ellie Martin. I'm a senior and I absolutely love Kennedy's small environment and the theater department and all the service trips to Honduras. Next year I plan on attending Malloy College for musical theater in New York. My name is Sam Stewart. I'm a senior at Kennedy as well. I'm a three-sport varsity athlete along with student body president. And next year I plan on doing track and field at a university of which I haven't decided yet. And we are both very excited to be helping with the funding of a new science lab. To give you a little background, in 2011, a science renovation was identified as our greatest academic need. We started with a bang at the fall 2011 auction, with fund and need reaching over $49,000, plus a gift of $100,000 from the Archbishop. After that great start, it was a priority to seek outside corporate funding and new sources of income. These included brand new donors to Kennedy, including the Bernoudi Foundation. Remember the old biology labs? Yes, I do. And the new biology lab opened in the fall of 2012, and it looks great. Then, our next focus was on the chemistry lab. A parent, Nieves Gallegos, joined the advancement efforts as a volunteer grant writer, and she is terrific. Father Bob in the advancement office then picked up some new corporate donors, Emerson and Boeing. Fund and need for the chemistry lab was amazing last year. But the timing of ordering materials did not coincide with our funding, so it was decided to postpone. And build both the chemistry and the physics lab together to save money. Now we continue to pick up corporate donors, including a very generous gift from Watlow. And partnerships are being formed with area STEM companies. Here are a few messages from Principal Mary Hay about the new Kennedy STEM initiatives. Hi, I'm Mary Hay, Principal of Kennedy Catholic High School. We have an outstanding academic program at Kennedy, but I'm especially proud of the strides that we've made in STEM education. Come, let's take a look. Since Kennedy made a commitment three years ago to renovate the science labs and increase awareness of careers in STEM, we have seen an increase in enrollment in calculus has gone up by 44% in the last year. 87% of our seniors are taking the fourth year of science, and that's gone up from 70% last year and 67% in 2012. Hi, I'm Bridget Fleming, and I'm a senior here at Kennedy Catholic, and the new science labs have really fostered my interest in STEM education, and next year I plan on attending Truman State University with the possibility of majoring in engineering. Beginning in the fall with the class of 2018, all of our Kennedy students will take a sequence of physics first, chemistry, biology, and then a science elective. With the advances in science and technology over the past century, chemistry is becoming increasingly important to understand biology, and so a background in physics allows deeper understanding of chemistry principles. Hi, my name is Carly Carter and I'm a junior here at Kennedy Catholic High School. I love to figure out why and how things happen, and I love to explore the world around me. The new science labs will help my dream come true of obtaining a degree in chemical engineering. Mathematics and freshman physics will be introduced to complement and reinforce the math that students learn in their algebra and geometry class, so they're able to see firsthand early on how interrelated math and science are. This new sequence of science courses ensures that all students graduating from Kennedy take physics, chemistry, and biology, giving them a strong background in science, as well as stronger math and problem-solving skills that will help them on the ACT. Hi, I'm Michael O'Reilly, and I'm a junior at Kennedy Catholic High School. These new science labs are excellent for our education, and they give us new forms of technology and space that weren't available in the old labs. These labs specifically help my interest in architecture and engineering. You heard from Kennedy students the importance of this renovation. Let's hear now from Father Bob Suit, our president. 